Today in Demon of the Week, we are having a look at the 46th spirit of the Goetia, Bifrons or Bifrons, and so let's get into that. Welcome to my channel. You are entering the world of magic and mysticism with your host, Lee W. Johnson. Keep the lights on and help improve the channel by becoming a supporter for just $2.99 per month. Hit the join button. Okay, Bifrons. Uh, I prefer Bifrons myself. Um, I have heard it being pronounced Bifrons, but uh, I'm going to continue with Bifrons. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Correspondences. Date, June 21st to July the 1st, Direction North, Tarot, Two of Cups, Planet Mars, Metal, Copper, copper or Silver, um, Element, Earth, Colour, Red, Plant, Basil, Incense, Dragon's Blood, Zodiac is 0 to 10 degrees Cancer, and the N is Avar, Secore, Bifrons, Remi, Tassa. And the Goetia. Uh, appears in the form of a monster, but after a while at the command of the exorcist, he putteth on the shape of a man. Uh, makes one knowing in astrology, geometry, and other arts and sciences. He teacheth the virtues of precious stones and woods. He changeth dead bodies and putteth them in, in, a, in another place. Also, he lighteth seeming candles upon the graves of the dead. Um, Connolly says another ne necromancy demon uh, to communicate with the dead, invoke for funerary, fu fu ooh, excuse me, funerary rites to usher the dead on their journey, also during ancestral working or to understand death. So last week we had uh, Vinay, who Jah uh, Jahannam actually um, stated or indicated was a psychopomp. And this week we have Bifrons, who is also a psychopomp, um, ushering the dead on their journey. So these two spirits uh, can go hand in hand very much in the necromantic aspect. Uh, Bifrons is more focused on necromancy than Vinay is. Um, Vinay, we have a lot of other aspects, but um, Bifrons... Um, can make you all knowing in astrology, geometry, and other arts and sciences. He teaches the virtue, virtues of precious stones and wood. So there is a, a teaching aspect here as well. Um, yeah, I think the the idea of he changes changes dead bodies and putteth them in another place. You know, we can cons we can consider that to be a psychopompic aspect, whereas. He is moving them from this realm into the other realm or other world, um, helping them across, helping them on their journey across. Um, so that's moving them from one place to another place. Um, but I think this has been misconstrued as literally taking a dead body out of a grave and moving it to a different spot or a different location. Um, you know the the again the aspect of um, he lighteth seeming candles upon the graves of the dead. That's in honour. That's in respect of the dead, um, and kind of giving them a guidance to allow them to, um, you know, a crossover to to continue to complete the journey um, after dying. So I do think that has been misconstrued by a lot of people because I did see a lot of mention of, um, you know, moving a physical dead body from one place to another. Um, but uh, I guess it's how people interpret things. Um, all right, so the Goetia ritual, nothing from Jehannam on this one. Um, in fact, I don't think there's anything from Jehannam on the next uh, two coming up either. Um, the Goetia ritual uh, says Goetia has no specifics about his form, so be prepared for an, an uh, this is in quotes, this is straight out of the book, an analgam of underworld devilish archetypes signifying his primordial nature. 
um, just because the coach has said he, he comes in the form of a monster. Um, I don't think mon all monsters are um, devilish archetypes signifying his primordial nature. But anyway, that's just me. Um, uh, the, the Goresha ritual did mention this, however, which was quite interesting. Enlivens a dead imagination and advances one confident, confidently in the direction of their dreams. Um, so that's a different take on everything else that's in there, but thought it worth mentioning. Okay, so short one today. Um, not a lot more we can talk about on about the aspect of bifrons. Uh, if we were to give Bifrons a specific office, um, something which is his, instead of all the other things like astrology, geometry, and the arts and sciences, virtues of precious stones and woods, etc., 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 I would say it is as necromancy, a necrom necromantic demon. Um, and specifically in communicating with the dead and having that psychopomp aspect to him. All right, and ancestral work. Did I mention that? Uh, I'm not sure I did. Um, Connolly also states, also during ancestral working or to understand death. All right, I'm not sure. I can't remember if I mentioned that, so better mention it now. Um, so communicating with the dead and ancestral work and helping the dead to actually move across. Psychopomp. All right, so that's what I would say Bifrons is best, or his office really is. And that's it for this week. And next week, let me just get to the next page, is Uval. Uval. So I'll see you then. Have a good one. Cheers for now.